Hello guys, I hope you are doing good. Welcome to another video. Today we are going to implement a hook in react. This is an interview question that you can expect for ht1s and ht2s. What we are going to create is a use copy hook. What use copy hook will do is it will copy the text that has been provided to it. For example, on the screen you see me, uh, you see the MUI component library. So here there is this icon, right? copy the source if i click on this it will copy the source code so if i open this source code you will see that there is uh, this component code written right and if i click on this icon it copies the source and if i go anywhere i can paste the source so basically it copies the source code now we have to create something similar but we have to create a hook around that so that it will be reusable and we can use it around the components application code base in the react so let's get started hook is a very it's a new design pattern as i can say uh, because uh, you know it was introduced in the react library and it helps to reuse the functional codes so we are going to create a custom hook and for copying things right so as if you are not aware in the browser for the html right there are two types of object model basically there are three types of object models one is dom which is document object model another is css om which is css object model and third is bomb bomb is browser object model so on the browser object model we have certain set of features available to us that we can utilize one of them is clipboard that help us to copy the text your set timeout, your set interval, your navigator, all those are available and are part of BOM. So uh, make sure you understand the BOM objects as well for the interviews. Here we are going to use, make use of clipboard to implement the use copy hook. So let's get started. Let me create the hook here. Const use copy. What use copy will do is it will accept a text that will be copied and to accept the text that has to be copied it will return a function. So let's create that. I am going to create a copy function and because we are going to make use of the clipboard right so this process of copying the text through the navigator clipboard API is an asynchronous operation. So that's why I'm going to create a async function and this function will accept the text that has to be copied. Now the first thing I'm going to do over here is I'm going to add a check to make sure that the option to copy things in the browser is enabled or not. If it is not enabled we have to show a warning because we cannot make use of this hook. So I'm going to add a check if navigator.clipboard it's not available. So we have to show a warning that clipboard is not enabled or available. We are not sure right what has been done by the user what's the default setting so we are just showing a generic message and after that we are going to return from here nothing we are not going to perform any further actions. If the clipboard is enabled then I'm going to wrap the code inside the try catch block because we are going to perform an asynchronous action over here and I have created a async function so to handle the errors I'm going to wrap this in try catch block you can also use promises the enable and catchable uh, but I prefer using async because I find it very convenient to write code and the code is also more readable over here now the navigator API it provides us uh, uh, the option sorry, the spelling navigator dot clipboard dot write text. So write text is the method that accepts the text and it will copy it to the clipboard so that we can use it anywhere. So that's it. We have to await and this will copy the text otherwise 
in case there is error so error popping text let me write this in backtick operators template string and here i'm going to say basically we are popping text so i'm just going to add a generic message and then after that i'll paste the error whatever the error is and then finally i'm going to return this copy method so this will help us to copy the text now here let me create a text area this is just for a demo purpose that i'm creating a text area whose text will copy on the click of a button so i'm creating a button as well copy and let me wrap this so i'm going to wrap the text area under the div to make it block level so that the button comes below this and then i'm going to make the text area a control component so let me pass the value to it a value and then on change i'm going to handle the function and set value and e dot target dot value so i'm just making the text area control component let's create a state over here const value and then set value and here by default i'm going to use the empty string now when you click on this copy button we have to copy the text so let me import or use the use copy hook use copy and this use copy is returning us the function that function i'm storing it in a variable now whenever the click button is happened right on click what i'm going to do is i'm going to trigger copy and i'm going to pass the value to it so this should when the button is clicked it should copy the text that we have typed in the text area let me run this and see if everything is working fine we got a error undetermined gsx contents we got a due okay sorry it's not closed let's run this again and if i type something over here and if i click on copy let's check if the text is copied or not so see the text is copied whatever we have clicked on now so this is how you can create a use copy hook in react the other thing you can do over here is just to verify right if the text is copied or not you can create a state under the use copy and you can hold the value after it has been copied and return that over here as an array so it's not generally required but in case if there is a requirement you can do this i hope you have learned something new today thank you for your time